Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, your one-stop shop for mature dialogue. We're going to get right to it. Welcome to Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast, your one-stop shop for mature sports dialogue. I am your host, Earl Tima, alongside my co-host, my big unk, Alan Tima. Before we go any further, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and most importantly, hit the notification bell. That way you know when we upload new content. It's going to be a quick one. We are talking about the Utah Jazz. Extended their winning streak. They're up to seven, right? Seven. Beat the Miami Heat. On fire. They pretty much beat everybody. That don't mean much, right? Beat the Miami Heat. Uh, defensive effort. Didn't shoot the ball well, but somehow still dominated. I think they won by what? 18 almost? Yeah. But see, they answered a lot of questions in that. In that. Because one of the questions that's always asked is, that since they've been on this win streak, is, oh, what's going to happen when they're not shooting those threes yeah. at the percentage that they was hitting them at? I mean, and you, we all season long, as a team, They've been shooting a high percentage from three-point range. Mm. But in this game, in the first half, they shot three for 21 from the three-point line. So now they're going to have to show us something else. Yeah. And Bonjanovic, he stepped up. He ended up with 19. Mm -hmm. But 13 of them 19 was in the first half. Okay. Penetrating. All inside below the below the free throw line. So, so he something went, different, yeah. Yeah, so that was something totally different. Mm. Mm. So, yeah, I mean, the first half, they did not make those free throws. It was I mean, an they ugly didn't make game. those, yeah. Yeah. Those three, them three pointers. It's ugly. But you know what? Miami makes games ugly. And that I think goes back to what you were saying the mm. fact that they did answer a question because playing up and down like that, up, um, high tempo, mm. shooting a lot of threes, when you play against a team that makes it ugly, Right. Can you adjust? And they did it. And not only that, because Miami, their defense is known to be out there contesting those three point shots. So yeah. that, they felt that. So now, so that's that. That's what everybody's thinking. Like in the playoffs, the playoff defense, th those shots are not going to be wide open shots. What's yeah. going to happen? They felt that pressure of that, and they they didn't, they didn't shoot that high percentage, and they had an a, an adjustment to make from there. Yeah. But it was the third quarter that was. <laughs> In the third quarter, Donovan Mitchell, the leader. Spider, yeah, man. He went nuts. And he scored seven straight baskets in 90 seconds. That's nuts. <laughs> that's, seven straight. That's nuts. And within that time, they went up 16 on a 16-0 run. would put them up 21 points. That's the game. <clears throat> but it wasn't just that seven. 16-0. A donut. During that run, during that period, they defense behind Rudy Gobert, Royce O'Neal, and, Roy, and Royce O'Neal. Yeah. Uh, see, when you say Royce O'Neal, you say Rudy Gobert, people are gonna understand that. But mm -hmm. Royce O'Neal, right? Yeah, don't watch the game. Yeah, those two anchored that defense, yeah. and that defense went to a whole nother level. You, you know, it's crazy too. Um, we mentioned Rudy Gobert a lot, mm -hmm. and most people know him for his defensive efforts. But quiet is kept. Mm -hmm. He may be the MVP on his team, man. It, it does because most of us, Spider Mitchell is who he is. Right. But he's the anchor. Mm -hmm. Because like you said, in the playoffs, right now you can score a bunch of points, but it's going to come down to a, a great defensive effort in the playoffs. And when I used to watch him play, I, I viewed Gobert as a, a defender. He was a good defender, but he was better at helping out. Or like on the weak side. Mm. Now he's getting out there on the pick and rolls. He mm. he's guarding power forwards. Yeah, and, and he's not. He's just not one of those centers that have to be on a center. He's, mm -hmm. he's yeah, he, yeah. And and he's that's why Shaq <laughs> talking all that nonsense. Shaq couldn't do what Gobert's doing right now. And and I think uh. that's and and you know what? Ever since he opened his mouth, Gobert been playing it. Going a whole nother level. Now, and the stuff that I'm watching him do, and this sounds crazy, people, when, when I say that, Shaq couldn't do what Gobert's doing in this modern day of, of NBA. It's not the same. Yeah, coming out on that pick so and roll, you got he's, someone he's, like Steph out there dancing. And right. You got a show, yeah. But he's moving his feet and he's playing great defense. Yes. And then that, that quarter, though, that third quarter, they outscored them 31 to 15. Mm hmm. They gave up 15 points in, in that quarter. That's defense right there. The game was points. over. That's it. They, they, they took the life right out of Miami yeah. from there. So that there's another question. 
They can go inside. And they defense can win them games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Other people stepped up. So, um, it's a guy in Utah who, his name, not uh, Joe Nyang. Or something. Nyang. Yeah, 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 yeah. He played big. Yeah. I mean, I think he ended up with his, with his career high. was putting like 14 points or something like that. Knocking down that open jumper, man. But not just the open jumper. He was lobbing the ball down to 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 um Gobert mm-hmm. and Gobert was finishing it. That that listen, you got different you got they're deep. You got people coming off the bench that don't normally do much. Mm-hmm. Stepping in and making big plays when the rest of the team is struggling. Yeah. So that's that's if that's not most people say, you know, they, they think that that Utah Jazz are pretenders. But yeah. no, nah, they're definitely contenders. And right now we're saying that on the understanding, understand it's a long season to go, and they can only get better. Yeah. 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 So? It is what it is. Listen, they won seven in a row, man. What is that? 18 of the last 19 or something like that? Exactly. And now there's another test. I hope Embiid is playing tonight so 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 the naysayers won't say, well, it's because Embiid didn't play. Uh, I want I want him to I want him to play so that we could uh we can establish that mm-hmm. right there. You know? So yeah, well, they got a chance to go eight in a, uh, eight games in a row tonight yeah. against Philly. Mm-hmm. Um, they yeah. got a tough night. week. We they got Clippers twice this week. Got the Lakers as well. Yeah. Oh, no AD. Yeah. Well, listen, nobody wants to hear that, right? It's still the Lakers. Like, yeah. yeah. So <laughs> it's a great game. Yeah. It is what it is, man. Utah Jazz seven in a row. They they continue to play great ball, man. It, they they are surprising everyone. No one knew they were going to do this. No. I think in our in our Western Conference preview, we we had them at what them what we had them at between maybe five or six five or six. We all, we stated that they're always in the hunt. They're always right there in the hunt. But I wasn't expecting this from Utah. Nah, I, no. I would be a complete liar if I told you that I thought they would be the number one seed. Mm-hmm. But they're proving everyone wrong. Everyone number one seed in the league in the league. Yeah. Well, there you have it, man. I see all the power rankings that changed it today too. <laughs> you know, they had they still had the Lakers there, and, yeah. but even though they had their better record, but it was po- a struggle for them to even get respect with that. Yeah. Like the power rankings, they it was like people refused to you know acknowledge the fact that listen, they they are doing their thing, man. Yeah, definitely. Utah Jazz. All right, man. So y'all leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Um, Utah Jazz. Are you still a believer? People out there, Jazz Nation. Uh, those in the Philippines, out in Utah. I know what you believe, but the other dream team is out there. What do you think about the Utah Jazz? And also, tune in tonight, man. Leave some comments below after the game as well. Let us know what you thought about the performance, win or lose, and uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and we out of here. Team Sports Entertainment, the podcast. Peace.